This is gonna be a short video on how I added a clutch pedal to my 93 GMC K3500 that came with a 4L80E. And the clutch pedal came out of a 96 K3500. There's a cab right there for it. <clears throat> and if you're gonna add one of these, there's a bracket that's normally welded in the dash. You can't see too well, but it's normally welded right there where those two bolt holes are. And if you have one of the older trucks, I believe it's 95 and older, it does not have that bracket added in there. So what you can do is take the, take the cowl out from under the hood here, or from right behind the hood. You just have to take the wipers off and there's a couple screws you take out and you can drill a hole and add a bolt right there. I covered the bolt in RTV. But depending on your clutch pedal, mine already had a hole right there where I added the bolt. There's already a hole drilled. I just had to drill a hole through the sheet metal of the truck. And I used a half inch bolt and you do have to put some washers behind it to get the spacing right. And then on the firewall, you have to drill three holes. You have to drill two small holes for the clutch pedal. And the clutch pedal has studs that come through. And then you put the nuts on and then you have to drill one big hole for the master cylinder. And the only thing that actually holds this master cylinder on is it has a square shape and it slides in to the clutch pedal. And when you twist it, it locks in. You can see where you twist it right there and it'll lock in. So if the hole isn't perfect in the middle, it doesn't matter because it's, it's not actually holding this, the clutch pedal bracket is what actually holds this. And I'll show you the, uh, the bracket that I was talking about earlier. Because this truck being a factory manual, it has the bracket welded in it. It's right there. And you can, some people will take that bracket out of these trucks you have to take the dash out and there's some spot welds on it that you have to drill out and then you can transfer it right over to one of these trucks without it you just have to do the same process take the dash out put the bracket on and weld where the spot welds were and you do need to add some sort of bolt up there without that bolt it makes this very flimsy There you can see the two studs in that square hole in the middle. The only other thing I had to do with the pedals is I cut down the brake pedal a little bit. I had to cut that much off of it right there. That was right there. And there's the original cover for the brake pedal. And these trucks, they already come with a, underneath the carpet there, there is a square outline for the shifter hole. So all you have to do is follow that outline and cut it out. And you don't have to really drill any holes. It uses self-tapping screws. So uh, you just screw right through the sheet metal and through the carpet. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe.